the UV spectrophotometer. This lab instrument is used in the analysis of compounds based on their absorbance in the UV, 200 to 400 nanometers, and visible, 400 to 800 nanometers, spectra. Its history dates the back to early 1800s when the diffraction grating was invented, enabling researchers to separate a light beam into its wavelengths. The instrument is based on electronic transitions that occur when a compound is exposed to electromagnetic spectra. Electrons in a molecule would absorb light energy and move to a higher energy level. The instrument detects the absorption intensities at each wavelength and plots a graph of absorbance versus wavelength. The instrument's functioning is based on a simple principle. The light within the UV visible spectra beamed to a monochrome is split into individual wavelengths. Each wavelength is further divided into a sample beam, red light, and a reference beam, blue light, by a half mirror. The red beam is directed through the test compound in a cuvette while the reference beam goes through a solvent. Electronic sensors in the instrument then detect and compare the absorption intensities of the reference and the test compound. The wavelengths of a light beam that fall between 200 nanometers and 800 nanometers are scanned. The instrument then plots the absorbance against wavelength in a graph. The maximum absorbance, denoted as lambda max, varies between compounds and depends on molar concentration. Generally, for absorbing compounds, absorbance is more intense at a high molar concentration. Therefore, it is possible to quantify the organic content of a sample slash compound based on its standard molar absorptivity. Nitrate and nitrate compounds. Traces of nitrates and nitrites occur in most organic compounds. The determination of these two ions is usually challenging because of interferences from other materials. The common spectrophotometric methods depend on nitrate reduction. For example, the Gris-Silasfe method measures the absorbance of nitrite resulting from nitrate reduction reactions. Nitrates in soil or water samples is first reduced to nitrites by acidic vanadium, which then is detected by the Gris test. The color intensity of the product peaks after 16 hours and can be measured at 540 nanometers. However, free nitrates ions in solution absorb at 220 nanometers, which is also the wavelength where most organic ions absorb UV visible light. A correction for the foreign ions associated with nitrates can be made by measuring absorptivity at 275 nanometers, as nitrates ions do not absorb at this wavelength. Therefore, this approach can allow one to correct for the organic content or contaminants in the sample. Based on the absorbance readings, a calibration graph can be plotted to determine the quantity of nitrates in the substance. The indole reagent. The absorbance is only measurable for compounds made into dilute solutions. The solvents used must be non-absorbing to reduce interferences. The indole reagent is used as a chromogen in an acidic medium to detect nitrates released from a nitrate reduction reaction. The reagent forms an intense yellow coloration with an optimal absorbance at 395 nanometers. The intensity of the chromophore peaks at 5 minutes after dilution. Its stability lasts for 60 minutes, after which it gradually fades. The reagent has superior sensitivity and accuracy than 4.5 dihydroxycumarin as a chromogenic reagent. This and many other essays are available at studycorgi.com.